Listen up, recruits. This is Lieutenant Commander, Mr. Everything, and I am here to guide you and direct you through our first Naval Aerospace Squadron basic flight training. And in this training session today, what we're going to be talking about is takeoff and landings. It's very important that you are going to be able to take off and then it's also very important that you will be able to safely return and land your expensive aerospace fighter. So we're going to be using the Gladius today and uh, if you would just enter into my virtual helmet here and let's move over to the Gladius. Now, for those of you that do not know, I'm going to gradually explain how to use the Gladius from the very beginning. If you know some of this information, cadet, just keep your mouth closed and just pay attention because there are others that are watching this tutorial that do not know and they might need this. You might pick something up. This might save your life something. You approach your fighter, wherever your fighter is, every fighter has a way to get into the cockpit. Wouldn't be a very good fighter if you couldn't. You press, when it says use like this on your HUD, you press F, that's right, the FOX key to activate the use button. As you see, the gear deploys and you enter the cockpit. It seals yourself back in and you are ready. Your engines Aegis power up. System Systems green. Shields power up, engines power up. Now we're not gonna, in this tutorial here, we're not gonna go into energy management that's not important. What we're going to be talking about in this tutorial is how to take off and how to land. In regular flight movement, you have W that will allow you to accelerate. You will it will increase your thrust. S will slow you back down. A and D will roll you in their respective directions. But to take off you don't want to just thrust out like you're not a World War II fighter. This is a spacecraft and it is VTOL or vertical takeoff and landing. So you would use your up and down thrust, which is R and F. Okay, R and F will let you go up and down. The Q as in Quebec and E, as an echo, will move you, strafe you to the left and then to the right. If you want to strafe forward, don't throttle up. Just use Shift W and Shift S. We're going to put that to the test. Now, to ask for takeoff permission, you press the center mouse button, your third mouse button. Landing gear and you noticed by pressing my center mouse button, it launched me up into the air. I didn't have to, did not have to hit R to take off. Now, if I go R, you notice I'm going up, and if I hit F, you notice I go down. We'll do a third person view. R and F. Let me get back into the cockpit. Landing mode engaged. Weapon mode engaged. Okay, you can change modes from landing to dogfighting, pressing the N button, the November button. Landing mode engaged. Weapon mode engaged. And you can go back and forth. Landing mode engaged. Weapon mode engaged. Very good. Let's actually throttle up and fly away from this landing. 
point. Holding the W down, you notice the throttle goes up to 73%. Now it can go higher. You can use S to slow yourself down. You can use W to speed yourself up. Or you can double tap W to go to 100%. Or you can double tap S to drop it to zero. Okay, now using the mouse, I'm just sliding the mouse to the left. Or I'm sliding the mouse back to the right. Shields up. And then I put the mouse back, mouse pointer into the center. Okay, these are, we have. You see eight landing zones. I'm pointing. There's four right there, and then there's four on the far side. We're gonna approach one of these landing zones. We're gonna from this distance. We're gonna press N. Landing boat engaged. Now you notice how their icons change to little down arrows. Uh, that is getting down, and you can press Y to cycle through the multiple landing zones because when you are coming in on a space station or a carrier there might be other locations to land so you cycle through them using the Y key so what we're going to do is we're going to land on the far left landing zone there it is selected we're going to throttle up until we get a little bit closer Now, you don't need to come flying in at warp speed. You can if you want. You press the middle mouse button. Now, you can land manually. I'm throttling it down to zero. Landing request approved. When you're close enough, you press the center mouse button to request landing. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to fly over. Okay, not boost. Okay, it's control, I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier. It's control W to uh, go forward. Right now, we don't have precision landing, so I am just using it, just tapping it, going a little bit out of time. Now, automatic landing took over, and it's landing. Landing complete. Right. If you noticed on your HUD, you saw where it said automatic. It did not say. Landing gear, Okay, so I'm going to go up just a little bit. Pressing N. Landing boat, engaged. Landing request, approved. TP activated. Landing gear deployed. Manual landing, initiated. Okay, I pressed M. Landing gear, retracted. I pressed M to turn the automated landing off. So I just have to use F to slowly go down. The landing gear will automatically deploy when I get close. Landing gear deployed. Landing complete. And that's basically landing, takeoff and landing. So let's go ahead from the beginning and let's take off. Let's go into combat mode, right? You jump into your ship, power it up. It's in combat mode. To take off, you press R. Launch complete. Landing you are up. You double tap your thrust and you're off and you're dogfighting.
done and you need to return, you press N to initiate landing the mode. landing Finish. mode. You press Y to select the landing pad that you want to use. You fly a little bit closer. I would, I'm not exactly sure what the range is, probably just a couple hundred meters. Uh, before when you press the center mouse button. Landing request approved. Okay, how far away am I? I'm 414, so landing request at 400 is okay. Okay, close in, close in. What it's doing now, it's giving you kind of a map where you can see beneath your ship. And it gives you an audible indication of how close you are. Now you see your landing spot. And then you hit F to go down. Now if you think that you're caddy wampus, like you're on one side or the other, notice how there is a red indicator on the landing disc that shows you that you're not green, that you're not like perfectly lined up. It's showing you that you're gonna hit hard on the left or you're gonna hit hard on the right. So when it turns perfect, you're gonna have kind of, or not exactly perfect, but perfect enough, it's gonna turn blue. If I was to nose down, notice how the red in the front. If I nose up, it should be red in the back. So you want that, all those reds to go away and it for to turn blue, there you go. Now we go down. And you just inch it down. It doesn't have to be fast. You don't want it to be fast. You don't want to slam into the dirt. Landing gear deployed. Now it says landing gear deploying. You don't want to hit the deck when it's still deploying. Wait for it to finish deploying and then go down. Complete. And then you're down. It's that simple, guys. All right. Now, thank you for coming out and checking out this landing and takeoff tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one. Landing gear Landing complete.